What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Ranime, welcome back to the channel. First things first, I'm going to apologise. I tend to do this a lot of my videos, but um, I've been extremely ill over the last few weeks, and especially some of the videos I've been making. I've been snivelling, and my nose is running. I've got a cold, everything under the sun. You just don't even go there. Uh, so, yeah, as you can hear the end, I'm snivelling. So I just wanted to apologise about that and just sort of say to you guys, hey, look, you know, I'm, I'm ill. Bear with it. But today's video is going to be about the new upgrade update on the Civilization Mines. Now, there's been a little bit of a, a, a lot of people moaning about this. I mean, the update itself, no, because obviously that's a good thing. But what Clash of Kings actually did was remove all of the civilization mines and retract them all but obviously the thing about that is people use those civilization mines as part of their hive um so obviously by removing the civilization mines you will also have a lot of spaces in your hive and i took full advantage of that this morning in uh over in 125 and uh basically just went fucking robbing because you know sometimes people build hives and you can't get anywhere near the castles they're about you know 100 kilometers away the most the closest you can port um and now at the moment i'm sat like smack bang in the middle of someone's hive to robbing the shit out of them but anyway that's besides the point so what you need to do guys and girls for those who do watch the video um is go across to your i've already tried this out in a couple of my castles this morning because i was very confused as to how you'd collect the other different resources, but I will go through and explain it. So your civilization mine will need to be placed again. Where I'm going to put this, I don't know, because I don't want to take up somebody else's spot. But we are going to whack it here for the sake of the video. Fuck it, right there. There will do. Put it there. Speed that bad boy up. Like so. Now, what you want to be doing is going into... Whoops. Going into back into your castle and to the interface menu of the civilization mine, where you can build now two extra fortresses. Now the confusing thing that I found this morning is something that they didn't quite explain, and I will show you the message and sort of read through it with you guys so you sort of understand. But again, if you don't understand any of this, please put a comment down below, ask questions, I will do what I can to help you guys out. So you've got on the left hand side here, you've got your civilization crystal mine. In the middle, you have a second option to open up a fine iron mine. And one over here. Oh, sorry, that's the fine iron mine. That's a research one, sorry. And that's the fine iron. Obviously, to un up, uh, unlock them, you saw that you need resources. It's a very small amount, so don't worry about that. Then down below here, you've got two padlocks. Again, unlock this. 5,000, 5,000, piece of piss. Castle. And what you want to be doing down the bottom here, now I'm assuming they will probably maybe bring in out other options in the future, hence the reason they've got these two choices down here. But at the moment, I believe, you've only got a choice of two. Oh, actually, I wonder if... Okay, we will try that for the sake of the video. So, basics first. Take your fine iron mine, build it, pop it down there, free to build, Go up here, build your research workshop, pop that in there like so. Now, to obviously upgrade these, like you do with your civilization, select the, which one you want, left or right. And you want to go through, upgrade it like so. Bit of speeders, easy shit. Upgrade that one, like so. Speed it up. Whoa, actually don't use them. Like so. <clears throat> now the question that I found this morning was where are these mines and how do I collect the resources? And it's perfect because just as I said that, that's actually fucking ideal. Just as I said that, you can see above each mine the three different types of resource that it provides. There's not going to be three different mines on the map. It's all collaborated into one. So to collect civil Civilization crystals, you come to the menu here, the interface, and you press that button there to collect the research stone. As you can see, you press that button there, and then you press that button there. But obviously, it's not come up because it's only just done it, so there's probably nothing produced. But you guys get the idea. That is how you collect the research stone, fire and iron, etc., from this mine. There is, I thought that there were going to be an extra two mines to be placed out, but, um, you know, thinking about that really, that's just going to like. You know, 
really fuck up the map. Can you imagine, like, every castle, farm castle, having three of these? You know, there's going to be... They're running out of space on the map. It's going to be ridiculous. So, yeah, I think it's a good that they... You know, the way they've done this. Three minds collaborated into one. But what I also believe that you, I think you can do is go to details, demolish this. You will lose... Pa yeah, okay, that's fine. And demolish this, like so. I believe... If you wanted to focus on one particular resource, give me two seconds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I was pushing on civilization crystals. <clears throat> so what I want to do is pop a civilization crystal mine in there like so. And that's already built it. Okay, so you can actually have two. I thought it was going to give you. You could have like three of each, but it doesn't appear to be that way so yeah i mean juggle it up one way or another which is going to be more important to you maybe you could have uh fine iron <laughs> and you know civilization which is sort of what i've got here or you could have you know research and you know whatever whatever you're focusing on but the good thing about it is obviously civilization crystals are a big part of upgrading in this game and by the looks of it you can now have two mines which is perfect so yeah any questions Feel free to fire down below. It is all basic building stuff at the end of the day. Um, like I said, it is all going to be in one mine, which is handy as fuck, really, at the end of the day. It really is. Now, there are some changes to defending troops and attacking, you know, civilization mines, etc., etc. And I wanted to go through then with you guys just so you're fully aware of it and if you don't understand any of this take the time or you don't understand what i'm saying go ahead and read this message because it's a big change optimization plunder okay so listen up peeps if you attack an enemy civilization fortress successfully your attacking troops will stay in the enemy civilization fortress and gather the longer you gather time, the more resources you can get. So you can now actually claim other people's resources from their that mine. Obviously, the longer your troops stay in there, then obviously, uh, you know, the more points or whatever it is, resources you get. Um, the resources gathering amount depends on your troop load. There is also an upper limit of plunder amount. <clears throat> if your civilization uh, fortress is attacked and the enemy is gathering your resources, you can send troops to regain your civilization point. So if you're attacking somebody, their civilization mine to rob them, just bear in mind that your troops are not going to automatically return like if you're just attacking a castle. They will stay there. So pay attention when you're doing it because you could leave some troops in there and then somebody out of nowhere can zoop a load of troops in and smash yours up. And I believe... That actually from both sides now. Special tip to deal with the data, we will close the function. Okay, that's not. In the plundering battles of the new civilization uh, fortress, soldiers from both the defending and the attacking sides will die. Big fucking update. So if you're defending, you'll lose troops. If you're attacking, you'll lose troops. I mean, that was obvious anyway, because that was basically what happened. Uh, there is also an upper limit of plundering times each day. For more details, please refer to the content in the game. So, yeah, big change. Um, I don't believe that you actually need to stick. I don't know. Previously, beforehand, you'd only need to stick 50,000 troops in here. You wouldn't need to put anything more than that. If you did, then you're an idiot because you're basically leaving your troops around to get here unless you're you know you've got like top notch stats and you just don't really care but at the end of the day it was wounded but now obviously the change of the game is that defending troops will also be lost within the civilization mind so maybe a little tip to you guys is don't use t12 etc etc unless you really want to send a full a full formation to the civilization mine um i believe you can actually still rally civilization mines so I wouldn't get too overconfident as to say because maybe someone can. Let's have a quick look. No one else has actually got a civilization mine out. I wanted to see if you could still give it still gives you the option to rally it. Um, but obviously the game retracted all of the uh, civilization mines, which is shit. So that idea is out the window. So yeah, I, I can only assume you can still rally civilization mines. So. You know, like I said, don't get too overconfident and leave troops in there. But if you want to leave troops in here, in there, I suggest you. I uh, see you. Look, boop, boop, boop. Easy stuff. Um, I suggest you lose, use low level troops. I believe it was only 50k. It was only 50k that you used to have put in there before. I don't know if they've changed that. 
So maybe just send T1 uh, and anything below T5, I would I'd assume. Um, maybe it slows down the production of the resource. I, uh, I can't quite remember. But at the end of the day, you know, if you send 300,000 troops to a mine, someone who's stronger than you attacks it, you know I mean, you've got to ask yourself, you're only collecting resources at a very slow rate. Is it really worth 300,000 troops? Or should you just stick 50,000 shitty ones in there? And if someone attacks you, then, you know, fuck them. Do you know what I mean? It's simple as that. So, yeah, any questions, please pop it down below. I don't think I've missed anything within the new update itself. A lot of it's just basic. Unlock new resource mine, blah, blah, blah. Optimization, special tips. No idea. Obviously, to upgrade it, again, I will show you guys very quickly just the end of the video, just so you're fully aware. You do need Civilization Relics as well to upgrade them. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, build Fortress? Yeah. So, obviously, that's exactly how you get to it. Select your mine, build a fortress, and then put in there which ones you want. I don't actually want... Well, I might keep that one, actually. Um, to upgrade the mine, like so... Um, I mean, low levels, fairly simple, but obviously as it gets higher, you will need more civilization relics. Select upgrade and speed that bad boy up. Just like so. Easy stuff. Again, any comments, questions, getting stuck on whatever, future ideas for videos, slap it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do not, I never say that. I never, ever say that. Yeah, hit that fucking subscribe button. Um, and drop a like because I will bring you guys uh, new videos soon. Um, I'm trying to. It's been very hard. The last year I've had is uh, it's been very interesting. Maybe I'll upload a video uh, and explain uh, the reasons why. But uh, I got into a bit of trouble last year, as to say, uh, <laughs> and I've just had to behave myself for the, the last twelve months, as to say. So yeah, but uploading for me has been very hard because my life's been slightly different. But um. Yeah, I'll explain that, guys, to you in a, in, a, in a video at a later time. But, yeah, I'm Mr. Random. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And, uh, yeah, have fun with the new civilization mine. Peace out.